Merry McFrickin' Christmas, my brothers and sisters. It is that special seasonal time of year once again where all of your family members come together to celebrate the loving birth of Jesus Christ. And what better way to celebrate this glorious occasion than learning how to play a song about doing math. Today, I'm going to attempt to teach you how to play No Rehab by a band I forgot the name of. Local News Legend. No Rehab by Local News Legend. Now, the only thing you will need to play this song is your guitar, your fingers, and your capo positioned right here on the third fret of your guitar. Now, in terms of difficulty, this song is actually one of the easier songs you can learn when you're starting off. It only has four chords in it, and they're very similar in how you play them, so it's a great song to learn how to transition between the chords you're playing. It's also a great song to learn some really, really, really simple finger picking, so you can kind of get into that before you get into more complicated finger picking, and songs you'll later want to learn how to play in your guitar playing career. You'll also need to pick an orange wood pick here because it came with this nice guitar. And the chords you will need to know to know how to play this song are C, E, A minor, and F. I'm playing the cheaters F because I don't want my fingers and hand to cramp afterwards, and I'm also really bad at bar chords. Cheating. To play C is probably one of the first chords you learn. It is your first finger on the first fret of the. fifth string, and then you will place your middle finger on the uh, second fret of the third string, and your ring finger on the third fret of the second string. N numbers are giving me a little trouble. It should sound something like this. You do not play the, your top string here, you don't play your E string, so just cancel that with your thumb. E is also super simple. You take your index finger, place it on the first fret of the fourth string. Take your other two fingers and place them both respectively on the uh, second fret of the fifth, I mean the uh, second and third strings. And you will leave the top string open for this one. The next you'll go into playing A minor. And for that, you will be playing your, once again, uh, ring finger on the first fret of the fifth string. And you'll be placing your middle finger on the, uh, what fret is that? The second fret of the fourth string. And your, nope, the second fret of the third string. And you'll be placing your ring finger on the second fret of the fourth string. So you something like this. You'll play your Cheaters F. This is not a real bar chord F. You can look up how to play that, because I'm not good at that, and it makes my hand cramp. But to play your Cheaters F, which sounds close enough to play this song, you simply move these two fingers. You leave your index finger in the exact same spot. You put your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and you put your ring finger on the third fret of the fourth string. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this, but thank you for sticking with me. For the A minor and for the F, you both cancel out this top string. As you can tell though, that's cheat like the fake F isn't very pretty. But it's not that important. This isn't a very pretty song. It's kind of a sad, depressing, aggressing song. But it's a song about getting better. Because they're having an intervention at the end. And that's what's important. Intervention is important. Let's get into how to play the song. The song opens up with a three strum of the top three playable strings of each chord, which is really just the uh, second, third, and fourth string plucked, then two whole strums of each respective chord. So, so it goes all something like this. And you'll do that twice before you start off the actual strumming of the song. When you go into the actual strumming of the song, there's a few different ways it kind of leads into the strumming. One of the versions of the song, she kind of plays on her C chord for a little bit, and then she goes into more playing just the song itself, so it's kind of like... And then she goes into the full strumming pattern of each chord. But you can kind of fiddle around with that and play it however you want to, that's an artist's decision in playing this song. But when you go into the actual strumming pattern of the song, it's super simple. the chord progression is the exact same throughout the entire song, and the strumming unless you want to change it up a little bit, is the exact same. It's down, down, up, down, up, down. And from here 
here on out, you pretty much have the entire song that you need to know how to play. Well, uh, just a, little, a few pointers when you're playing out through the song. Uh, each verse have the song plays through the entire chord. Uh, the entire four chords as you're going through. So it's, I love you like an alcoholic. It's, I love you like an alcoholic. And then it goes through those four chords every time you play. So it's, I love you like an alcoholic. And you go on playing the next verse using the same four chords. And before the words actually start to come into the song, there are two whole, two whole measures of the four chords that she plays through before she actually starts singing. So it goes a little something kind of like this. the chorus the first time she once again just plays the whole measure of those two of those four chords twice and then she goes into the second verse and then she goes into the chorus again and the song ends when she is ending out the song she does strum a little bit differently on just about the last verse is all she strums on but she's playing through you know it's the <laughs> She only does that on the last part, the last time she sings the chorus. On the first part, it's the first time she sings the chorus, she does not do that. She just does the full strumming pattern. And I think she does it a little bit on the last line of the second verse of the song when she's playing through. You like no joys, no gods, no masters, but for me and I, so I can Right after that, she cuts straight back into the uh, normal strumming pattern until she gets that very last line of the song. I really hope this has helped you guys out a little bit in playing this song. Uh, comment down below if there are any questions you have. I try to answer all the questions. And uh, I'm going to play through the song one more time before you go, just so if you have anything you want to look at, you can kind of see it. I'm not a super talented musician. I'm not very good at playing the guitar. But I'm trying to help other people get better so I can get better at the same time. If you are interested in following me, I try to do some uh, some song tutorials on the guitar and the ukulele. I build some stuff from time to time, and I just tell you about me, because I'm so gosh darn adorable and amazing. But for now, that is it. If you like the video, like it. If you want to see more of this beautiful face, subscribe. And here's this song a little bit more. Um, so that was actually a lie. Uh, I just recorded me playing that song a couple times. I took a few tries because I'm not a very coordinated and talented, but um, I listened to it. It wasn't horrible, but it was also not nearly as good as no local news legend playing it. So if you really are serious about playing the song, please, please, please just go get the song by them and listen to it over and over and over again until it is stuck in your head what it should sound like, so that's exactly what it sounds like when you play it. You know, it doesn't have to sound exactly like that, but, I mean, if that's what you want to sound like, you want to play it like that. If it's not, be yourself, be artistic, be creative, and be happy. Merry Christmas. Goodbye.